Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I don't know how many of you uh, watched the courtroom drama with the Colorado versus Trump case, whether he should be taken off the ballot. And it was very, very, very interesting for me. Uh, heard arguments on all sides. Heard the judges uh, ask questions. And this reverts back to something I've been thinking about recently, the last day or two, and that was free speech and how important free speech is and how you should be able to hear all sides of a particular argument in order to make a judgment. And that just reinforced how important that whole aspect is and how we should continue to fight for free speech, how important it is. <laughs> and yeah, free, you know, when, when you're able to make a valid argument, this court case just reiterated how important it is that every side gets to um, present their position, which they did. And uh, those that hear what is being presented get to ask to their heart's content until they are satisfied that the position is legal, lawful, valid, whatever the case is. In this case, obviously, because it's a court case, it is a legal uh, standing that is uh, being determined. And in life, it, it is no different that you should be able to hear all sides of an argument. And in most cases, most of us are only willing to, or only choose to hear one side, and that's the side that agrees with our own position. And, and I've been guilty of that as well. I find that uh, listening too much to the other side, uh, I find very irritating. Um, but they still should be heard. And whether they irritate me or not, uh, they still have a right to be heard, and I still have a right to make a judgment call on what they're saying. If what they're saying is, and sometimes in some cases, what they have to say could definitely be valid. Um, I always say you can learn something from everybody. Um, you, you can learn what not to do and what not to believe just as much as what you uh, can learn what to support and uh, what you choose to challenge. That would be all up to you. But I was absolutely thrilled with um, what I heard and mostly how it uh, all occurred, like there was very little political machinations going on. Uh, it was a question of um, what is your position? What is your reasoning behind your position? What is the law behind your position? What is your right behind your position? And how will that affect the rest of the country? Blah, blah, blah. Very, very, very interesting. And if anyone hasn't seen it, they probably should. Now, this also the idea of how important free speech is has also been on my mind because of the Tucker interview that was recently conducted and that we probably will be watching tonight and how there may be repercussions to him for doing it, sadly, hopefully not. Hopefully it will benefit him rather than hurt him, but it's hard to say. Um, there certainly has been quite a, a concerted effort to shut down certain viewpoints and only have others being heard, and that is ex extremely de detrimental to everyone. Um, once again, what I watched today was a perfect example of how it should be, how everyone should be able to hear all sides of an argument, and how you should be able to question what each side is presenting, and you should come up with a judgment on your, on your own merits of what it is that you're hearing based on the facts that you're hearing. Not based on what you want to believe or what you choose to believe or what you think is fair, but what is actually true and right and valid, and in this case, lawful. So getting back to Tucker and to Elon, I guess Elon has agreed to make sure that uh, uh, Tucker's uh, interview will be uh, available on X. 
which is wonderful because it's not very likely that anyone else will uh, present that position for her, that interview, at least not immediately. I'm sure that it will be copied and recopied and resent out uh, many times afterwards, but for the time being, I would suspect that X is the only one that is going to uh, play that interview. Ho and hopefully it will become even one more of those uh, reasons to support and to encourage free speech and freedom of thought and freedom of your conscience to uh, freedom of judgment to make a decision on your own for after you've heard what it is that you choose to hear. Now I know that uh, with the Russia, Ukraine, that there are people on both sides. I know that with Israel and Hamas, there are people on both sides, and that's fine. Perhaps both sides should be heard, and you should be able to make a judgment call when you've heard both sides. And yes, you can have your judgment subverted by your attachment to one cause or another. I understand that, but on the whole, I think the truth always wins out, eventually. <laughs> so, um, if the only thing that hurts everyone is not allowing every side to be heard. Not allowing a particular viewpoint. Not allowing mothers to speak out. Only allowing one position to be uh, promoted, heard. <laughs> And you know eventually that all you're hearing is lies and lies and more lies. And sadly, a lot of that's been going on. And, and it's all being exposed because the other position is being shut down. And now, even if there's truth there, unfortunately, because the other side is being shut down, you have no cause to believe anything that you're being told. So, more free speech. Hooray for the U.S. that has it enshrined in their constitution. Don't let them take that away from you. Have fight for it. You have certain inalienable rights that a lot of us do not. Now, just because Tucker's doing this interview tonight doesn't mean that I'm going to believe everything that I'm hearing from that interview either. But I'm definitely interested in listening to what he has to say. And yes, I don't believe that... Uh, Vladimir is um, a nice person. I don't think he is, but uh, he has a right to be heard as much as everyone else. And right now he's been made the villain, and I'm sure that there's villains all the way around. Yes, I know that whatever um, Tucker presents today may be something that interest me. I doubt it'll do as well as what this court case did today. But it will be interesting to hear what the other side, what Russia has to say, what Russia believes, what their position is. And uh, perhaps if people did more talking, like what I just saw in that courtroom, where every side was able to present their case and every side was able to be questioned on their positions and their beliefs, uh, we would not have so many problems is what we do. And, and fair judgment, fair judgment, legal judgment, not emotional. And it seems like these days that everything is an emotional response that, uh, oh, I don't like you because orange man bad or, or dead man walking, <laughs> whatever the case, you know. Um, it shouldn't be emotional, it should be factual, so. And people need the ability to be, to be able to make those decisions legitimately and with information and not just be fed whatever one side wants to feed you. Villainize the other side and say that they're evil. Whereas I think if there's villains, they're all equally villains. I don't think there's one more villainous than the other, but I think people do have a right to make their own decisions in, in that regard. They do have a right to listen to all sides. And yes, you could make a decision on whether you prefer my viewpoint or somebody else's. That's really up to you. <laughs> you have that choice and don't ever let them take it away from you. 
Anyway, um, I, as I said, I really enjoyed what I saw today. I'm glad to see that people are being less and less afraid to speak out. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you've heard, but I happen to check my phone and guess which other farmers are on the <laughs> doing the protest. Now it's Ireland's turn. Irish farmers are protesting, and I didn't check to see what they're protesting, but I just saw a long line of um, tractors going through the city, and the headlight being that farmers are protesting. No farms, no food. And isn't that the reality? If they don't learn to support farmers, I've been saying that all along. So folks, yeah, keep prepping because more and more and more of these farmers are protesting. And um, Canada will have their turn again because they still want to limit uh, quantities of fertilizers that farmers get to use. So it isn't over here yet. And I have no idea what the situation is in the U.S., but it's... Uh, I'm sure that this spring will bring out more and more of these issues to be confronted and to be addressed and to be resolved. So, hooray, hooray, let's, let's get reality out there. Let's face facts and let's make decisions based on not pie-in-the-sky ideologies, but what can be done today. Not to say that you shouldn't have a goal to correct something but make it make it viable make it legitimate make it give it the time frame that it needs for it to happen anyway this is tony from her homestead skills hope you enjoyed this little segment here and uh, free speech everyone yay <laughs>